As part of her preparations for an upcoming burlesque performance, Danielle Colby, a member of the American Pickers, has been seen displaying her brand new red sparkle pasties. As part of her side career as a burlesque dancer, the star of the History Channel frequently posts pictures of herself on social media, featuring her seductive clothes. Earlier this week, Danielle, who is 48 years old, posted a video on Instagram showcasing her most recent accessory for a certain routine. While she was driving in her car, she videotaped herself demonstrating how the red beaded pasties with fire tassels work by holding them up and explaining how they function. In her statement, the reality personality explained that the tassels are intended to be set ablaze and spun around as they are fastened to the chest. Additionally, Danielle mentioned that she had never used that particular kind of prop before, and she requested that a fellow burlesque dancer instruct her on how to use it. At long last, I was able to acquire my fire pasties for my tribute to Satan's angels. Adamanto Vugandkis 13 at Miss Nixon Adamanto Hugum, the television personality said in her post, I'm going to need some direction on this. The angel of Satan, the mistress of the devil, and the queen of the fire tassels. The year 1961 marked the beginning of her career in exotic dance during which she was famous for lighting her nipple tassels on fire and twirling them with exuberance. When I was just starting out in the burlesque world, I had the incredible opportunity to witness this performance in person. Awe struck me to no end, Danielle gushed over it. The star of American Pickers has never been bashful about showing off her form in skimpy apparel when she is concentrating on her responsibilities outside of the television. At the beginning of this month, her co-star, Mike Wolf, who is 59 years old, stated that Danielle was going through big changes after she seemed to be hinting that she would leave the show. It took place in the comments section of Danielle's Instagram post, in which she described herself as being the happiest I have ever been after her wedding to Jeremy Schuch, the man she had loved for a very long time. The response that Mike gave was, the next best beautiful chapter of your life, I love you, honey. And Danielle responded with, Yes. I am grateful to you for taking me on this journey. It has been a wonderful experience, hasn't it, brother? Considering the recent ups and downs in ratings for American Pickers, viewers are beginning to wonder how much longer the show will continue to air. On the other hand, it seems that Danielle is enjoying her life outside of the program particularly now that she is dedicating her attention to her newly blended family. A small private ceremony was placed in Puerto Rico, where Danielle and Jeremy exchanged their vows in the presence of their family and several friends. In the beginning, the television star did not disclose any information on the wedding. However, in recent times, she has been releasing more highlights from the big day. A romantic photograph of the happy pair locking lips while dancing in front of a crowd of people was shared by her on Sunday. The wedding reception was held for the married couple. As the couple experienced the intimate moment, the mother of two leaned back to kiss her new husband, who curled up around her waist as they savored the moment together. Danielle wore a body-hugging nude glittering gown that exposed her collection of arm tattoos and her long hair that was styled in an updo throughout the event. During the wedding, photographs were taken of the Iowa native wearing a stunning light blue gown that featured a substantial open back. The devastating news that Jeremy's father, John, had passed away was disclosed by Danielle and Jeremy a few days after they had exchanged their I Do vows. This devastating tribute was posted on Instagram by Danielle in honor of her father-in-law, whom she affectionately referred to as Papa John. In addition, her daughter, Memphis, who is 22 years old, had to cope with the loss and expressed on her stories that she was sick after the passing of her loved one.